check out the private Discord server, Patreon link below for some awesome trades. We made like 133% last week on spy calls. It's pretty nice. But we got to talk about what's going on in the housing market. Because almost a third of all homes for sale are newly constructed. The highest share of any third quarter in American history. Guys, it's not normal. If you guys look at new construction and you ask around with some of the real estate agents, they're going to be like, oh, it's pretty normal. You know, you got some new construction here and there. But guess what? Typically, new construction only makes it about 10 to 15 percent in most cities. Now it's 30 percent. It's double what it was several years ago. And before the early 2000s, new construction was kind of fairly rare. It's not something that you see all the time. So if you go to Zillow and, for example, Houston, there's about 20,000 homes. This is a lot of houses. But when you look into new construction, let's just look at 2020, right? And click apply. 7,000 homes are new construction. And what's really scary about this is when you click on one of these little new construction housing icons, they're not just selling one house, guys. They're literally selling you guys hundreds of houses. Look at all these houses that are being built. These are insanely big lots. And look at this, right next to this community, there's more land being built. And these massive parks and tree areas, they're probably for sale as well. And the government is selling these, private lands are also being sold off and auctioned off for more of these suburban homes. And it's being built like crazy, guys. You got DR Horton, Toll Brothers, they're all building every single day for some reason, nonstop. I mean, this isn't normal when you see this many homes being built. And look at all the new construction. And if you go to places like Austin, same exact thing. It makes no sense when you see this much new construction. And when you zoom out and look at like the greater Austin area, we look at like a San Antonio area and also the road to San Antonio, it's all like new construction. This is like freakishly high, like 11,000 homes in this area. But when we take away new construction, there's not even that many secondhand homes. There's only about 24,000 homes total and almost half of that's new construction are people buying this no they're not buying this this is why austin home prices are down by 10 percent and 15 percent some people are saying for 2024 because people are being laid off interest rates are actually going up again because inflation is super high and texas is building a reputation that's not great with the most new homes constructed in the u.s since 2010 and that was after like the whole entire real estate bubble crash if you guys don't think a bubble is forming, think again. Texas, yes, a lot of people moving in Texas, especially at the expense of California. A lot of rich people are moving in Texas. But does it warrant this much new construction? Absolutely not. Developers are still buying huge plots of land to build these suburban communities. But are these communities being sold? Yeah, I mean, some of them are. But with high layoffs, tech companies not needing as many workers, and I know people tell you about unemployment's going down, but high paying jobs, that's high enough for people to afford $400,000, $500,000 suburban houses are very hard to find. You could easily find a Starbucks job for $15 an hour, but if you want to find a job that pays 100 G's a year, it's very, very difficult. And look at this, you know, Florida's new construction is also going off the charts. It's second behind Texas and they're building homes constantly every single day you know you go to places like tampa it really makes you wonder you know they build thousands of these new construction homes this year and who's buying it right like who in the world is buying all these houses like you got sixteen thousand results on zillow and when you implement the new construction from 2020 to now you have like 3,500, which is a humongous chunk for tampa it's at tampa's all-time high and these numbers don't even do it justice because when you click on one of these listings, it's like a whole entire suburban community that they're trying to sell you. Oh, it's just one house on Zillow. Psych. We're looking at like possibly 50 to 70 homes in this community they're trying to sell. So it's pretty scary. We have an over construction issue and builders are still building like crazy. And let's see what happens. The amount of people buying homes right now, despite lower interest rates than before, is still very low. It hasn't really went up. I think a lot of people just don't really want to buy a house, especially if people have a high chance of being laid off from their high paying jobs. All right, guys, before we leave, check out the private Discord server, guys. It's a seven day free trial, $20 a month. 
And we're literally making some pretty amazing trades. Buys, sells, buys, sells. Trade with us, guys. Make some money with us. Like, look at this. UNG. We made 142% last week. Check us out. We're making money. 